Welcome back guys to this new video of TechExpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started here with Proton Mail, totally for free. So basically here the Proton uh, can give you one email address which is totally for free. You can use them to generate your own um, email, custom email. So basically what I'm going to be doing here is to get started with my Proton account. So to do this process of course, what I need to do of course is to understand why to use a custom domain with the Proton Mail. So if you use your own domain, basically you have your own branding, your own domain name for your professional email address, you have privacy and you have control. So you can maintain control over your email address and domain. So what you need is a Proton Mail paid plan and a registered domain named from a domain register. For example, GoDaddy, Namecheap, or Google Domains. Now, I believe Google Domains no longer exists. I believe it's called now Square Space Domains. So uh, that will be totally optional. In my case, I'm gonna be using Namecheap because it's more, much more faster and easier to uh, purchase domains. So in my case, this is for example, what I'm gonna be looking now for Go. I hit for search. And I believe it's uh, a little bit more than 50 or $7. Uh, dollars. In my case, I found one which is $1, which is really a low price. There's gold.a.com, $4. And here I do have now all of my uh, domains that I have purchased so far. So what I'm gonna be doing here is to choose one domain, for example, I don't know, maybe Xana, and I go for managed and advanced DNS. This information will be having access to all my DNS servers and I'm going to be using this server so I can locate and transfer where I have my domain and where I want it to be sent to. In this case, here into Proton Mail. So, uh, what I need to do, of course, is just to leave the advanced DNS as it is, go back into Proton Mail and start with an actual account. So, as you can see, I have here the Proton Mail where I can create an actual new account. Let's go for this name. Now that my account has now been successfully created and generated, I have an actual free Proton Mail, which in my case is uh, this one is appearing here into my Proton Mail, the messages, I'm gonna hit into maybe later, next, next, use this, whatever. Now, here into my upper side, I have the Bigstar at ProtonMail.com. My goal is to have Bigstar at exana.store. So for this, I'm gonna hit into upgrade. Now, when I hit now into upgrade, I choose this for individuals and I choose for USD and I go for one month. Now, the plus version can give you uh, 15 gigabyte storage, 10 email addresses, a limited folder using your own email domain, Proton Mail and dark web monitoring. So with this process, what you can do is to choose the option that says select the mail plus. There's the family option that we can give you $20 for two users and 30 email addresses, which I think is gonna be really awesome. Or the businesses where you have the mail essentials. So this is a little bit uh, cheaper than the families and gives you 10 email addresses per user. So I'm gonna choose for antibiotics and choose the option that says select the mail plus button. If you choose, for example, 12 months, you can save off to $12. So instead of paying uh, more than $50, you have now $47. In this case, I'm gonna choose the option that says one month. When you choose the option that says one month, what you can do now is to choose the option that says uh, the total storage, the email address, the support domains, and the total VPN connection. Once you have finished with all of this process, get into the option that says pay $4.99 now. Once you have now paid the process, what you can do is to go for the option that says settings. And if I focus here into all my settings, inside all the settings of the Proton account, I'm going to focus here into my actual plan. Into my plan, what you can do is to focus into adding your own domains. If you focus in here into the left section that says domain names, here what you can do is to add your own domain. In my case, it's going to be asking me to upgrade, to include with Mail Plus, add my cage to all addresses and much more. So I have the IMAP, SMTP, submissions, forward, domain's name, and so much more. Now, since I already have purchased um, this process with an application, I'm gonna be showing you this with the other applications so you know how it actually is gonna be done. Now, the reason why I'm gonna be doing here is because we don't wanna spend a lot here into the Proton and Mail, but basically the process is exactly the same. So choose here my hosting to choose here to 
and I have access here for my Soho email. Now, I can go here for my settings. I select my settings, and inside my settings, I'm gonna focus here into uh, my administrator console, exactly just as we did before here into the problem mail. Inside my problem here, I go for my domain. Now, to add my almost new domain, what I need to do is to add my own credentials. So when you have here your own domain purchases and your new plan purchases, you can go here into add domains into the problem mail. You see here your domain, when you add your domain, and it's of course not verified. So when you click into reviews, it might be asking you to enter your DNS values as a type host name value data points too. It's gonna be appearing something like this. So this is an example, it gives you a txt file at and a value data points to. That means that I can go back where I make the purchase of the domain and I can add a new record. In this case, for example, it's asking me to enter a txt record. Host name should be at. So I go here for host name should be at. And the value of this information, proton mail verification, blah, 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 blah. And once I have done this process, I'm gonna hit now and to save my changes and continue. With this in mind, uh, this is how it should be looking. So once you finish with this process, once you have added this record, it might be taking a few minutes to uh, the process to be now successfully done. So we can be adding an email authentication like this. So basically what you need to do is just to make sure that all of this appears as check marks and it has been successfully done. We can add different users, we can add different addresses. All of this can be uh, viewed, for example, from this element. So mail holding status, I'm gonna enable this. And I'm gonna show you how it actually looks, the email configuration. So basically here is the email configuration of my uh, elements here. So for example, it's gonna be asking me to enter an MX information. So record type MX, MX, and MX. So if I go back here into my name chip information, what I need to do is to focus into my domain list and into my domain list, I'm gonna choose, for example, uh, the coolcats.click and add a new record. So in my case, it's gonna be asking me for an MX record. So this MX record in this case should be at 10soho.com. So let's go for at who.com and automatically. And I add more and more and more and once I finish with this process, it should be appearing now here the element of this uh, check mark. So I enable the status and we're good to go. Then I can go back into my dashboard, wait a few minutes until this process has now been successfully done. And once I finish with it, then I can be using now my actual new domain. So in this case, here is it. I'm gonna click into my profile and you can see that here's my name, Steven, at the cut and call dot store. This process is exactly the same as you can do here into Proton Mail. So I'm so sorry that I'm not using Proton Mail for this particular tutorial, but basically the process is exactly the same. So hopefully this was very useful information for you. If it's not, you don't have to worry about it. You can let us know in the comments below and we can generate an actual new account and having an actual few funds to generate this Proton Mail uh, and do this properly so you can know how we can do this inside the Proton Mail. But as I just told you, the process is exactly the same. Um, so what I can suggest to you is to purchase a dummy that it won't take you a lot of your uh, budget and we can import this directly here into Proton Mail. So uh, once again, hopefully this was a very useful information for you. So give us a thumbs up guys here into TechPress. If you have any question about the connecting your domain here to Proton Mail, you can let us know in the comments below. And I'm gonna leave you the link down in the description so we can have now access to this specific article about adding your own custom domain directly here into the problem mail. So thank you once again for watching this video and hopefully we can all see you next time.